and let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. All right guys, today I'm gonna to go over polishing a coated feed route. So this has got the coating on it. This is a Lake Line Industries, but it still has the coating and I'm gonna polish it. Do I need to? No, uh, but I want to show you how to polish a uh, coated feed route. We're gonna use that one. Uh, we're gonna use my rouges over here. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below. This is what it is. I got it off of Amazon. Uh, we're gonna go the black is your rough, green is your semi, and uh, red is your uh, fine polishing here um, and then I've got these little uh, they're basically little cotton buff uh, wheels um, this is the shape I like uh, and we're gonna use this is black this is green this is red and if I can find my box uh, this is them I'll put a link in the description below they've been pretty good uh, they come in a big set and they're very very cheap uh, you also need a Dremel uh, I like the flex shaft. This is the Dremel 3000 and you don't have to have the flex shaft. It just makes life easier. Uh, so I'm going to go black first. Spin it on, hand tight, and then just snug. That's all you need. Uh, and then we're going to pull the black out. Hey, we want to take a second just to let you know that we offer concealed weapons classes in South Carolina. We are in Anderson, South Carolina. So if you're local to us, check us out at defensetraining.org. Uh, we also offer other training as well. You can check that out again, uh, defensetraining.org. Um, also, we make holsters. We have uh, custom holsters that we make. Uh, so you can go check those holsters out. Uh, they are ambidextrous and both inside and outside the waistband holsters. Uh, they are made of Kydex. They have a lifetime guarantee and a 60-day uh, money-back guarantee. So check those out at defensetraining.org backslash holsters. All right, back to the video. Turn it on, not quite all the way on. Pretty quick though, like a six or eight. We're just gonna go in there, get a little bit on the tip, something like that. And then we're gonna just start, we're gonna go with it. We're not gonna try to change the angle. We're just gonna go with it up and down. As right, you can see, I don't know if you can see that in camera, but you can already tell it's pulling it off. And it's gonna take a minute to really get down in here and get this coating off here. But it's coming off pretty good. And we're gonna basically go kind of in just a little bit and then we're gonna go down this way. We don't wanna change angles. We just wanna make sure we keep the angle and we polish and that's it. We don't wanna, don't use your, uh, any kind of abrasive anything. You just want a polishing compound to do this with. In fact, I don't have to get on the edges here. I just need to get down in there in the actual ramp. Now basically we're just gonna check it out. Look, see where we're at. Yeah, see we pulled that finish right off basically. Um, and we've got that. I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna go a little bit more with the abrasive to try to smooth that out some. Uh, I can already tell it's getting smoother by touch.
just take your rag and wipe it off get all the excess off you're gonna have a lot of excess that's just the way it is with rouges all right all right let's see if we can see this see that's look at the coating off of it so it's nice and uh, gone so basically I'm gonna swap out to the green now And always use your buffing wheels to the same color. Don't miss, don't contaminate your uh, product. The, these things are cheap enough, you don't have to. So we're gonna do the same thing with the green. And if you get green further down on here, you'll be able to tell it's green all the time. Uh, and we're gonna just do basically the same thing. With the Lake Line Industries, I have not had any type of feeding problem at all. Uh, they're a very good company that makes good products. Uh, I'm just polishing it up and show you how to pull this coating off. Uh, and I may do another video on uh, how to do the actual G3 uh, tactical one. Uh, I did a video on this the G3 wrap, uh, but it was not, uh, it didn't have a coating on it. It was uh, uh, plain. It was a stainless oil, basically, so the ramp wasn't actually coated. If you see that coming off, that's actually rude. It's just drying up on the side. Now we're going to take it off. Oh, yeah. I don't know how well you can see that. That's coming out nicely, nice and polished. All right, so I'm gonna swap it. That's about all I need with the green. And the feel of it, when you start polishing it, you'll be able to feel it to where it's really like, yeah, that's getting smooth. Um, it's night and day difference once you do it. Um, And again, I put polish all the way back on this so I can tell the next time that this is red and not black or whatever color uh, I'm going to use. And I'm just going to do the same thing. The red's going to make it like glass. It's going to mirror shine it really, really well, actually. Keep going off camera. Sorry about that, guys, because I'm paying more attention to it than the camera right now. Barely up in, barely, and then go down and around, just kind of like that. Uh, and you'll make sure you've caught that whole feed round. But for the most part, these kind of cone shaped ones, they fit down in really, really well on that feed route. See if I can I don't know if you can tell how mirrored it is, uh, but it is definitely mirrored. Definitely a lot smoother. I mean, it is night and day difference in the smoothness. When you get this done, I suggest at least take your snake down through there, because uh, you can see it's got on the side here. Uh, so I know it's got down in there. So take your snake uh, or clean it down in there, get it nice and clean. Um, I can see it. You can even see it got down in the L right there or the K uh, of late line it's under here you need to make sure you get that off uh, so just give it a good cleaning like you would just cleaning your gun uh, and then this will be polished for a while after a couple hundred rounds you want to polish it back off um, you could technically with this kit that I got um, it has all of this 
you could technically polish this whole thing up uh, with this kit. You just start with your black, go to your green, go to the red, uh, and you could polish all of that. In fact, uh, it would probably look really cool if you wanted to take the time to polish and just go over here and this would, uh, your little flutes here would remain black and this would be polished. That would probably look really good. I'm not going to take the time to do it, but that'd probably be cool. Uh, if any of y'all do that, uh, shoot me a picture in the comment because I'd like to see something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's how you polish one. You just pull that off. You do it the same thing, same way as any other one. Start with your black, go to your green, go to your red. Make sure you're using a buffing wheel and not an abrasive wheel. See how that's abrasive? This is hard. Your buffing wheel pack is very soft. It's a cotton type. I can put my fingernail in it. Uh, that's what you want. You don't want the abrasive. Uh, the abrasive will change the angles. You do not want the angle changed on this. Uh, you want the same angle. You just want it smoothed out. Uh, if you can tell, let's see, right around that rim, right there is real, it's nice and polished here, but I didn't touch the upper part because you don't need to. You can. You can polish all the way around the rim, but you don't need to. Uh, all right, guys, this is Spencer with Defense Training. Stay safe. Stay armed. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video below. Thanks.